here's your host, Hosanna Brandon! Thank you very much. Welcome. Welcome to the show tonight. Excellent show. Oh, yeah. Big, big guests are here. Not always the case here at the Late Night Show. <laughs> Don't laugh at that. That's sad. <laughs> That's sad and true, not funny. No, no, we do. We get a lot of big guests, but tonight, very excited about tonight's show. We got a good one tonight. Not everything's good, though, here in New York City. You people are probably aware of this. We are in the middle of a huge drought. Did you know this? You know about this drought? Yeah. What's your point? Who is he? There's a big drought here. This is terrible. There's, there's nothing going on. There's nothing, no water anywhere. And uh, yesterday, this is the latest, uh, Mayor Michael Bloomberg declared a drought emergency. But he said, despite the drought, the city would not use water from the Hudson River. Which that was, that's what they said. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this, this came as a shock to New Yorkers who said, wait, there's water in the Hudson River? Why is it glowing? Um, according to a new survey in USA Today, 62% of Americans, 62% think Al Gore looks better without his beard. Yeah. Yeah, yeah not only uh, that, 92% of Americans think the beard looks better without Al Gore. <laughs> they think it's true. <laughs> that is not funny, Conan. I have to whip out my Gore impression every now and then. Stop it! <laughs> this, uh, I got, my go I got my bush, huh? Yeah. I like to crank out every now and then. Wait, I can't do that anymore. I must salute him. All right. <laughs> this week, uh, this is weird. I think it was in London. This week in London, a 10-year-old boy, 10 years old, signed a record deal worth close to $1.5 million. <laughs> yeah, un unfortunately, this is sad. The boy's already gotten cooties from one of his groupies. <laughs> you out on that one <laughs> and you felt bad for me <laughs> Wait. that's not good last thing I'll mention a little show business news it's been reported that the producers of the upcoming Scooby-Doo movie y'all gonna see the Scooby-Doo movie yeah. All right. you have no idea there's no water in the city but everyone knows about the Scooby-Doo <laughs> movie uh, it's been reported that the producers of the upcoming Scooby-Doo movie have edited out a scene where Sarah Michelle Gellar kisses another girl on the mouth. Oh. Took it out. Yeah, and this it gets worse. They also edited out a sex scene where Sarah Michelle Gellar does it Scooby style. <laughs> which I thought was wrong. I thought that was. Woo, I didn't see that. <laughs> I'd kill me. All right. <laughs> Let me tell you why we have uh, such a great show tonight. We're thrilled. We have R&B diva, Queen of Soul. I think she has 50 other titles, all well-deserved. We're thrilled, we're honored. Aretha Franklin. Yeah. Yeah. She's gonna pop, she's gonna sing. It's a good show. We also have really a very funny guy, great comic actor from the new movie Clock Stoppers, Frank Stewart is on the show.
And right over here, my own queen of soul, Max. <laughs> wait a minute. Max Weinberg and the Max Weinberg said, Max! Come in.